After hundreds of entries from all around the world and many, many months of preparation, it's finally time to pick the top five and start String League Season 2. String League is a conglomeration of the best stringers in the world, all coming together to make sure that we support the community that gave us the opportunity to do what we love. We want to make sure that you guys are supported just as we were supported by the people who came before us, keeping the art form pure and helping it grow. We have people from every single company that's recognizable in this industry, and we're sponsored by the best head company in the world, STX. It's our goal to take the next top five players, the next top five string leaguers, and make sure that they get the coaching to become an absolute professional. This is String League Season 2, and these, these are your top five contestants. We're going to start the final five contestants off with FL Stringer. Coming out of Florida, this pocket was amazing. The black contrast with the neon yellow frame was perfect, and the pocket was just superior. Jack Stringing released one of the most unique mesh pockets of the entire open entry segment. The channel is literally the only part of the mesh that is left with a twister coil attaching it to the sidewall structure. By far one of the most aesthetically appealing pockets, also incredibly functional. Crosswork stepped out of the norm and did something no one else was willing to do. He worked on an all wooden traditional lacrosse stick. This pocket is amazing inside of the stick alone, and it also presented some new challenges that we found to be intriguing. However, the pocket was also good enough to stand on its own and get him a final spot in the final five. McLack Strings is back for his second round of String League. After a disappointing loss to Chris Wilson in season one, he is back with an absolutely amazing traditional goalie pocket, as well as a matching field stick to boot. His stringing is definitely on point and we can't wait to see his sophomore round of String League. Richie B77 is an amazing young talent who strung something I have never seen before. His late entry into String League came in the final days and in the final hours of open entry and blew us away. Not only is it unique, but he also showed himself ripping corners so you know that it's functional. Each of these contestants will go through a weekly tournament, each one being hosted by one of the judges themselves. Each contestant each week will obtain points amounting towards their final score. You can check out the scoreboards on lacrosseallstars.com and each week we're going to update you with the latest going on in the league. The prizes include the following. Each of the final five will receive five brand new heads from STX. These are top of the line from one of the best head manufacturers in the game. After that, they'll be eligible for a weekly prize from each of the judges. The final winner is going to win a massive grand prize, which is just going to be a boatload of mesh, enough to string up an entire team. In addition to that, they're going to have their design hosted on styleandstrings.com. And lastly, they're going to be able to be announced the String League champion for season two. I'm Justin Skaggs, and on behalf of all of our judges, we are absolutely thrilled to see what it is you guys create this season.